Today, I'm making a very simple but delicious meal of roasted chicken and onions. This is going to be good. Okay, so here in a large bowl, I have close to four pounds of chicken legs, and I'm going to start by seasoning it with this Montreal chicken seasoning. If you decide to make this, you can season how you like, and I'm just eyeballing things, but around four pounds of chicken legs, maybe three teaspoons of that seasoning. Here I have some salt-free lemon pepper, and I'm just going to shake that all over. I'm also adding some granulated garlic powder, and I will also be adding granulated onion powder. I'm just going to shake that all over, and then with clean hands, I'm going to combine well. Here I have a large pan, and I'm just going to arrange all of my chicken legs around the pan. And if you're using a baking sheet or a baking pan or a baking dish, just arrange it however it'll fit. This is the largest cast iron enameled pan that I have, so I'm going to go with that. I also want to mention, before you start seasoning and cooking the chicken, you want to make sure that you leave it on the countertop before working with it to remove the chill, maybe like 20 to 30 minutes. I'm working with one large onion today, and I just sort of scored it into like quarter pieces, not all the way through, right in the center. I'm just going to go over with some of my seasonings on top, and you'll notice I didn't add any liquid or cooking oil to the chicken, and it totally works. This is what makes it so easy and simple. You could add some liquid or stock into the pan if you like, but this is what I'm working with. So it's going into a preheated oven at 375 degrees Fahrenheit, and after about an hour to an hour and 20 minutes of cook time, this is done, and it smells amazing. So I'm gonna remove this from the oven and let it rest for about 15 minutes. I also made focaccia bread. I will link in the description below my homemade focaccia bread recipe. I thought this would go great with today's meal and I actually used a garlic infused olive oil and smoky flaky sea salt to go on top. This combination of flavors is perfect for focaccia bread. So if you have that, use that. So I'm just going to add my salt on top and this actually proofed once in the bowl after I mixed it for the first time and then I added it to my baking sheet and proofed it once again. And now with the salt and olive oil on top, I baked it in the oven at 475 degrees Fahrenheit for around 15 to 20 minutes and it's done. It smells amazing by the way. And the chicken is done, it has rested. So pretty much it's time to serve. But I wanna show you with this onion, I like to take my kitchen shears just to sort of cut it and keeping it whole as it roasts keeps the onion texture kind of crisp but cooked through. I love it. And this focaccia bread, I can't wait to dig into it. It's so crispy on the edges and the inside is springy and soft. And I want you to hear how crispy this focaccia bread is. It's so good. So let me serve a plate of today's simple but delicious meal. I'm going to add some roasted chicken, and this is kind of hot. I should probably should have used tongs. I'm also going to scoop up some of these onions. And actually, I like to make extra onions, but for today's video, I did one. And here I have some fresh tomatoes. These are vine grape tomatoes. And just a slice of this focaccia bread. And this is the meal. I know it might look odd for some people that like sides, but I love to make this. My family loves it. The combination of flavors and textures is so good. And I like to dunk the focaccia bread in the rendered juices in the pan. It's so good. I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it. And thanks for watching.